Hello. Today we want to consider a topic, the markup system. What the Igbos call also here. What is the markup system? This is a system in Nigeria that refers to the pricing strategy where businesses add a percentage to the cost price of goods or services to determine the selling price. This system is prevalent in various sectors including retail, wholesale and manufacturing. How does it work? We have the cost price. This is the initial cost of acquiring or producing a product. Then we have the markup percentage, a fixed percentage added to the cost price to determine the selling price. Then we have the selling price, which is now the final price at which the product is sold to consumers. For example, a product costs 100 naira. The markup percentage is 20%, which means this product will be selling for 120 naira. What are the pros and the cons of markup system in Nigeria? The pros of this is that it simplifies pricing, easy to calculate and implement. Two, quick profit calculation. Businesses can quickly determine profit margins. Three, it encourages entrepreneurship and businesses. Low barriers to entry for new businesses. What are the cons of markup system in Nigeria? One, inefficient pricing. It fails to consider market dynamics, competition, and customer willingness to pay. Inflated prices. It causes excessive markups that leads to higher prices, hurting the consumer. Three, lack of innovation. Businesses focus on increasing markups rather than improving products or services. Four, vulnerability to market fluctuations. Businesses struggle to adapt to changes in market conditions. Is this sustainable? Let's look at this. Sustainability for growing economy, it does not give sustainability. The markup system has limitations that make it unsustainable for a growing economy. For instance, one, inhibits competition. Excessive markups reduce competition and stifles innovation and economic growth. Two, it hurts consumers. Yes, high prices due to excessive markups decreases consumer purchasing power. Three, it fosters inefficiency. Businesses rely on markup rather than improving efficiency and productivity. It ignores market dynamics. It fails to account for changes in supply and demand. What are the alternatives, if I may ask? Value-based pricing. Prices reflect the product value to customers. Competitive pricing. Prices set based on market competition. Dynamic pricing. Prices adjust to reflect changes in the market condition. What are the recommendations that we need to consider? One, we need to encourage businesses to adopt to more sophisticated pricing strategies. Two, to foster competition through policies and regulations. Three, invest in market research and analysis to inform pricing decisions. Four, develop policies to protect consumers from exploitative pricing. In conclusion, while the markup system is simple and widespread in Nigeria, its limitations make it unsustainable for a growing economy. Adopting more innovative pricing strategies and promoting competition can drive economic growth and benefit both business and consumers. So in a nutshell, the markup system that is widely practiced in Nigeria is not sustainable. The Igbos call it Osaya. That is why when you go to a market, you will see someone who does not even have a product that he is selling or a service to render, but he knows people who renders these services or has this product. 
he just talks to you because he has information about this particular product or service and then negotiates with you a product that is meant to cost you 100 naira this person can inflate the price up to 150 naira at the end of the day it is exerting on the consumer instead of paying 100 naira you end up paying 150 naira or 120 naira as the case may be in some instances you even have different markup people involved in the chain so this kind of system is never sustainable the markup system the also here system is never sustainable most businesses in nigeria depend on this markup system without being innovative without being strategic without even producing anything they just mark up the prices and then sell and make quick profits quick profit making in business is never sustainable what is sustainable is innovative thinking innovative products products that have value and that you sell at the actual value for what it is being paid for thank you